So of course, like I've got family there. But you realize isolation, just the ability mm. to, I mean, the inability to meet someone you want to meet just yeah. when that's snatched away from you. And I know you perhaps meant it slightly differently, but yeah. just in, I think in any fashion or form that can Because be I, so. I was trying to think, I was like, you know, in COVID, we wanted to get away from each other. There was just the, yeah. you know, it's just a, a family when you're just stuck together. And just, right, just yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Away, I yeah. want to see my friends. It's just you guys, there's too much yeah. of it, yeah. yeah. But um, having no friends or family mm. and being completely alone, like, Mm. you know completely isolated in that sense being mm. without even the company of any human being I mm. think um, that's yeah I don't know so my friends and family are very important mm. and dear to me because I'm like what would I be without yeah. them yeah yeah sure they're so imp- friends are so important they're everything absolutely you know, yeah. they're just as important as family yeah 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 so uh, if yeah in a world where there would be none of them I think that is what would keep me up at night Mm. Yeah, the fear of that. yeah. Sanam, what's your favorite travel destination? Or are there, there must be multiple, I imagine, but is there any one place you either want to go to or want to go back to? Um, I used to like places with a beach, mm. like any time, any, mm. any, any place with a beach, I wanted to be there. But now mm. I find that a little bit boring. Mm. Um, the mountains used to be too overbearing mm. but after spending two months in the mountains yeah, um, just gonna ask. it is quite peaceful and it's quite um, spiritual. Mm. The beach is not spiritual it's just a lot of relaxing which is like okay I've relaxed for a sure. week now or five yeah. days now yeah. what. But I mean any 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 place too much time in any place too much but mm. any anywhere along the Mediterranean coast. Yeah. Yeah. Food. I'm a foodie. I love food. really, and I love um, the Mediterranean mm. cuisine. Cuisine, yeah. So yeah, anywhere along the Mediterranean mm. coast would be my ideal destination. Yeah. Sanam, last question. Um, something that people watching, like no one knows, watching this knows about you. Oh. Just anything. Well, that's why they don't know. Cause <laughs> I don't want to see it. No, I'm. Um, <laughs> Well, I didn't actually well, I know you were a foodie, think, but... <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a foodie. I don't think people assumed I was shy. They assumed huh. that I'm very confident. Huh. Um, and I, I've said this too many times because no one knew it, but I think now they do that I was a national swimmer. Really? Yeah, for the Sindh Olympic team. Well, not like wow. the Olympics, but yeah. that's what we used to call here in school. Yeah, yeah, Sindh yeah. Open. Yeah. Um, no, I'm... That's pretty much it yeah. there's no hidden talent or thing yeah and Sidham you spent time like in Karachi Lahore both or mm-hmm. I okay. spent three years in Lahore I see and I spent my whole life otherwise since I was seven or six in Karachi hmm. before mm-hmm. that was London yeah and uh, yeah I, I love Karachi it breaks my heart to see yeah how the authorities have completely rejected the city it's there's so much potential and there's so much energy and mm. all the work is here and there's just so much potential and I love Lahore for its uh, red bricks and trees yeah. and greenery and Islamabad is just breathtaking. Yes. It's literally like am I in Pakistan? Absolutely. Those mountains, those yeah. parks, that yeah. lush green, the swings, the yeah. the roads. Karachi is just it breaks my heart. Yeah. It really, really I love this city but it's completely rejected and um, it's very yeah. unfortunate but yes this is home this is where i've always this been this is home yeah, yeah absolutely and the people here oh well i prefer the people here than i prefer in the other cities yes um yeah. Yeah. i i connect to their fervor and their energy and yeah. their quick wittedness more than in the other places i feel like i'm not at at, at their level mm. um I think that because Karachi is such a metropolitan like melting pot, yeah. there's uh, the people are a lot more experienced, a lot mm. more exposed, um, a lot more aware. Yeah. Uh, so one can get by. I, I can't get by in law in Islamabad yeah. too much. I feel yeah. like oh, the men are ruling the place. Sure. But sure. in Karachi, I feel like I can get by. Yeah. But maybe that's because I'm not familiar. Maybe if you are someone from Islamabad, they'd feel like, no, Karachi is like sure. horrible. I can do it in Islamabad. It's so yeah. much more yeah. manageable. So. It's a matter of what uh, city or place you're used to. Yeah. But um, but there is definitely this sense, like you're saying, of like, you know, this nevertheless she persists kind of idea, right? Yeah. So despite the fact that it's heartbreaking and 
yet yeah. people are getting on with it and i'm in no way glorifying and that's what because of the people exactly it's the people that are doing it but there's no park there's no patch of grass anywhere for the people to sit in sometimes you have an island between the roads where there's a little bit of grass hmm. there'll be families and there'll be the ice cream wala and there'll be kids and you can just see they're so hungry for a little yeah. patch of grass to play on grass is so important for earthing to kind of connect with earth with to kind of, of de-stress to play on to cool yourself on and hot yeah. weather's yeah. like this yeah. and it's uh, and swings and slides and there's yeah. nothing as a parent i think if when if i ever have children i don't think i could live here then and now right. i understand why a lot You're of my right. friends and people have left yeah. is because and that's when I, at the beginning of the interview i said i feel old when i say well i was a child <laughs> i used to yeah but there's not much to do here in terms of just going out and about yeah. i mean you have yeah. classes again you have to spend money on things absolutely there's nothing for free yeah, yeah. uh in terms and of and that doesn't feel stuff. very sort of natural or no. kind of as organic right no, because you're like yeah yeah it's a status thing where you have to pay for it and if you can't pay for it then what do you do if you can't afford it yeah. there are some like sarvat gilani has just opened up sarvat art house really? which is really cool and that and it's so needed kids needed a place where they could learn wow. taekwondo or yoga or art or paint or science or some kind of class cool. um after school where they could interact with other kids meet yeah. other children and kind of do creative stuff she just launched it maybe a month ago mm. there's nothing like that before and if there mm. was again not everyone can afford these places yeah, yeah. and if you've got three kids and you're you know you, you're a teacher or in a club somewhere or whatever you just can't afford but all those kids cool. um have the right to kind of explore and learn and grow like that and we don't have that here yeah, so yeah. that's very tragic and i feel like that's that's so important going back to this idea of your dreams your calling your song i mean this is part of that process of coming to it right yes you become you become um bitter and harsh and money becomes everything when you huh. are forced to bilkul when you don't have the means to kind of relax and imagine and kind of yeah daydream yeah. there's no time to daydream there's no time to life can get pretty hectic and hard and it's so expensive and yeah Yeah. There are all these kind of day-to-day practical yeah, things yeah. that consume you. Yeah, yeah. it's not as easy. things were a lot more calmer yeah. in my grandmother's time, in my mother's time, mm. even in my time now. I can mm. say, um, yeah, it's a lot more hectic mm. and competitive now. And now with the tech world taking over, that's a whole other ball game. Oh gosh, yes, yes. Like we'll be moving to Mars soon or something. So we have to prepare. It seems off. like that. Yeah. For that. yeah, yeah.